Okay, I've got historian here, John Wilson. And what are we going to talk about today, John? <laughs> well, we're going to talk about this cairn, which uh, commemorates one of the uh, darker periods in Nova Scotia's history, the deportation of the Acadians. Uh, there's endless information written about these uh, people and, and the deportation. But basically, uh, for a whole number of reasons that we can't get into today, the British government decided that they were going to deport the Acadian settlements, uh, settlers from Nova Scotia. Uh, at that time, this area was called Pisiquid, and there were, uh, there were the Acadian settlers here from about 1760 or 1780. Uh, they had built uh, farms and uh, communities in the area. Uh, by about, uh, in about, with the, with the settlement of Halifax, many of these Acadian settlers uh, actually removed to French territory in what's known as today as Cape Breton, Prince Edward Island, and New Brunswick. But about, uh, a thousand were deported from this area. Some had already escaped into the forest, but a thousand were deported. They were loaded on uh, long boats and taken down to uh, deep water where the where the ships were tied up opposite the uh, at the uh, entrance of the Kennecook River, and from there they were moved down to uh, off Grand Pre and ultimately moved uh, shipped out. The people from this area went to the, uh, Brit the British colony, the American colony of uh, New Jersey. So that that's the, the story of the deportation from this area. So where uh, did they actually ship them off from? Like from here, they left the fort and they went to they, Kinnecook. They sailed them down the river in long yeah. boats to the ships who were tied up because they would there's a deep water there and they could tie up down there and anchor down there oh, I gotcha uh, anchor off and that's where they took them uh, men women and children 